All right, so um Jordan, can you press continue? All right, so dividing complex numbers is what we're starting off with. And um, dividing complex numbers is not what you think necessarily. Um, but yeah, so before the break, we talked about uh, imaginary and complex numbers and how to reduce them. Um, we talked about adding and multiplying complex numbers. That was our 5.98. And we also talked about how to use the quadratic equation formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4c divided by 2a. Hey, that guy, right? And so we're gonna keep going from there. Um, if, you're, if you notice your notes are kind of divided out because I'm trying to help you better organize and kind of focus on the main, main things. Um, so we're gonna start here. So the first thing we have is complex conjugate. Um, our complex conjugate, uh-oh. All right, so a conjugate is super easy. All you're basically doing is when you have a complex conjugate, you are not changing your coefficients. You're just changing the operation, okay? Co coefficients are staying the same, um, operations are changing. So for example, if I have negative five X plus four I, what would be its conjugate? Good job. Exactly, it would be three because you're only changing the operation, okay? So notice that the terms are still the same, just the operation change. Yes. All right. So this is important because this is step number one for division. Okay. So our steps for dividing complex numbers are one, we identify the complex conjugate of the denominator. We multiply, so either distribution or FOIL, the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate. Um, we need to remember that I squared equals negative one. So when you see I squared, it needs to be replaced with negative one. And then we're going to write final answer in complex number form A plus BI. Okay. Um, okay. So let's give it a shot. So here we have nine plus 12 I divided by three I. Okay. So step one tells us to find the conjugate of the denominator. So our denominator is positive three I, so therefore its conjugate is negative three I. Easy enough? Step two, we're gonna multiply the co by, with the conjugate. When you multiply a fraction, you have to multiply the numerator and the denominator in order for it to stay balanced, agree? So I have nine plus 12 I times negative three I and I have three I times negative three I. Okay, so then after we multiply, what does it say our next step is to do? Simplify. So we're gonna go ahead and simplify after we multiply. So let's go through and multiply. And again, we're distributing nine times negative three I is negative 27 I. 12i times negative 3i is negative 36i squared. I'm going to do the denominator. 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. And now we're going to simplify. Simplify means we're going to combine like terms and turn i squared into what? Negative ones. So this becomes negative 27 minus 36 times negative one over negative nine times negative one. So we continue to simplify. And that gives us negative 27 I plus 36 over nine. And then step four, we're gonna put it in complex number form, which is A plus BI form. So that means we're separating these into two separate fractions. So we have negative 27I over nine 
plus 36 over 9. And I can simplify here, and that gives me negative 3i plus 4, which equals 4 plus 3i in its mathematical exact form. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Luke. I did not mean to write plus. Minus 3i. All right, how do we feel about um, a single term denominator? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's just distribution. Foil is when you have two binomials. We're going to do a foil one here in the next. But are we good with um, a binomial? Just the one term in the denominator? Okay. So our next example is two terms in the denominator, a binomial. So same steps. So step one is what's the conjugate of our denominator? So our denominator is currently three plus four i. So the conjugate is three minus four i. Step two is to multiply, mm -hmm. to find the conjugate. So we're gonna multiply the numerator and denominator by our conjugate. So we have five minus two i times three minus four i over three plus four i times three minus four i. This we're gonna have to multiply using FOIL so five times three gives us 15. Five times negative four gives us negative 20i. Five times negative two i gives us negative six i. And two i times negative two i times negative four i is positive eight i squared. Same thing on the denominator. Three times three gives me nine. Four i. Three times negative four i gives me negative 12 i. Four i times three gives me positive 12 i. And four i times negative four i gives me negative 16 i squared. Any questions about step two and multiplying? Still with me? All right, so step three is we simplify what we just multiplied. Simplify means combining like terms and taking our i squareds and making them what? Negative one. So like term here. So now I have 15 minus 26 i plus eight times negative one. That's my numerator. Here, combine like terms. I have nine plus zero i minus 16 times negative one. It's negative. You owe me 20 and you owe me six. So simplifying this, I have 15 minus eight. What's 15 minus eight? Seven. So I have seven minus 26 I in the numerator. In the denominator, I have a negative times a negative is a positive. So what's nine plus 16? 25. Negative 12i plus 12i. And then four is to put in complex form. So a plus bi. And that just means I'm separating the two terms, right? So that gives me seven over 25 minus 26 over 25i. Can I simplify any further from there? Nope, they don't have any juicy F. Yeah. I don't know. It got a little extra curve on it. Got a little fancy. I don't know. All right. So how do we feel about dividing? Okay. Um, the first part of your of your classwork, you're doing problems 18 through 22. It goes along with this part of your notes. You do not have to do number 23. Um, 
So, but yeah, it goes with, with this part of the note. Cool. All right. 